Uh. Since we're young and now we dream of getting rich. What's up, man? It's Crossco. We got mail today. We're about to go and pick up a package we got at the uh, post office. They sent it last night, but we weren't able to. We weren't here when they dropped it off, so they took it back to the to the post office. So we're about to go pick up some heat, man. Y'all stay tuned. Twenties all from the countdown package. The twenties and the threes. This time we got an unboxing of the the 16s, the Midnight Navies. Real dope shoe, man. Um, I was real ecstatic about this shoe. I love all the all of the Jordans up to like I can't really mess with the 31s. A lot of people stopped liking Jordans after 14. But me, I'm a big fan of all of the shoe. All of the shoes get this great. I, I like doing the research on them and finding out the store. Finding out why each designer did or what they did. Um, this is by far one of my one of my favorite uh, favorite shoes on my from his like on his descendant down on the twenties. I love the twenties with the halo. I love I love these, but these are a little bit more dope because these were a shoe that I wanted as a child. Not this particular colorway, but this uh this style. This number, I wanted these, so they came out in a countdown package. For uh, these, they came out they were all black with a secondary color of red. Um, just the original colorway for the 16s. Um, it was just dope. One of my, one of my homeboys, one of my fellow sneakerheads, little James, he had them. And I saw him, I was like, damn man, that's a dope ass shoe, like for real. Um, and I'm now fortunate enough to have the shoe in my possession. Um, Tinker didn't work on this shoe, and that's why a lot of people stray away from it. People are like Tinker, Tinker, like hype beast. But you gotta look at the shoe. You can't look at the designer. Yeah, we all know Tinker is one of the greatest in the design field. But you have to look past like names. You have to actually look at the shoe. Look at what they were trying to accomplish with that shoe, and if they did accomplish that shoe, you have to give them kudos. And that's why I like this shoe. Back in 2001, what was popular was like wavy shoes. When they first created this shoe, like all shoes were like, had a lot of grooves in them, like the, the pennies, the, I think it was the penny fives, I may be wrong, but I think it was the penny fives. The penny fives had all these like grooves and that was, that's what was popular. So Wilson, the guy who created these, Wilson Smith III, wanted it to be a, a diverse shoe. He wanted it to be, Formal but also athletic. Um, this shoe was highly inspired by Mike's love and aspiration for golf. Um, a lot of a lot of complaints came on the, the athletic side was on the shroud. They said that the shroud was too tight when they were wearing it, and it also was it's, it was liable to fall off at any time. Um, I can understand why they're saying it after I tried it on, because this is my first 16. But um, the shroud wasn't meant, the, that's the whole thing, the shroud wasn't meant to be worn in an athletic fashion. It was meant to be worn in a, in a formal setting. Taking the shroud off, this is the athletic shoe that Wilson wanted you to, to, you, to utilize. He didn't want you to use the shroud. You could, like uh, Ray Allen, the great Ray Allen, he, he was able to play in his shroud. A lot of people weren't able to do that. Um, but that's why this shoe got a lot of backlash. Um, I think a lot of people were just hurt that the mic from the Wizards wasn't the same mic from from the Chicago Bulls, and that's understandable. We as fans get attached to how certain situations make us feel, and not so much on you know what's actually going on in in the situation. And I think if we took a step back and really started appreciating the situation itself, you know, we, we will go much much further uh, in life. But, uh, yeah, so, um, what else I like about the shoe? So on the bottom, they wanted to kind of incorporate the technology that they use in the shoe. They wanted to show it, but they wanted to be kind of subtle with it. They didn't want to be bolsters. They wanted you to see it like, you know, we're doing, we're actually putting some some brain power behind our shoes when we design them. 
and what we're uh, creating. We want them to be not only they, we don't want them just to look good. We want them to be, be performance also. So those orange hits, that, that's pretty much what that symbolizes, like our hard work mentally. Um, this was the first time our Jordan had a different design right here. They changed the design. If you can see it, see if you can get that focus. Um, they changed the design for Jordan. And when you see that as a sneakerhead, once you see Jordan, that Jordan as it's placed right here, you know immediately that it's the 16s that's, that you're about, that it's coming from. And this shoe is super dope. Um, this is by far my favorite part of the shoe. Like I told y'all in my last video, I'm, I'm all about the simple things in life. I love the simple things. The small things is what matter. That tongue piece right there is, this is just dope. <laughs> it's dope. Uh, whoever created it, whoever, whoever would suggest that, they put a pull tab right there. Or not even a pull tab, but a tongue tab right there. They, I don't know if they knew that somebody else would appreciate that that little simple feature as much as they appreciate it when they decided to put it on there. But I definitely do uh, appreciate it. Um, this shoe does run a tad bit small, a tad bit. Um, but with the socks I wear, it really doesn't affect me too tough. Um, on the Crossco scale from one to 10, I give this shoe a solid 8.5. Um, this is a dope shoe, a dope shoe. If it was the original um, colorway, the black and red, I most definitely would get this shoe a, a solid nine. Most definitely, I would definitely give it a solid nine. Um, next week, uh, whenever, if, if y'all follow my, my social media, y'all know that I struck out on my dorm back to say with freestyle, but I was able to get them. I thought I struck out, but I didn't strike out. So as soon as those come in, it's probably be another two or three days. But as soon as those come in, we're gonna upload a review for those. Um, so right, like that's that's my favorite shoe um, this year that I bought, and I will do a top five sneakers uh, that I bought um, right after the, the Dawn Belker um, review, but. Man, that's, that shoe means a lot to me. It, it really does mean a lot to me. Everything that it represents. And I don't want to get too heavy in it because it's going to give away what I want to talk about in the review. But uh, I'm all about buying what I like. I buy what I like. I don't care about what other people have to say about whatever. I buy what I like. And I want to encourage you guys to buy what you like. Don't worry about what the next is going to say. Because they're going to say it whether you buy it or you don't. They're going to talk. So just do what you want to do in life, you know, do what makes you happy. And above all, keep God first and you're going to go far. But it's Crossbow signing out.